Imagine holding a smooth, shiny rock in your hand. Now imagine a crumbly, rough rock, or a rock with twisted patterns running through it. All these rocks look different, but they have one thing in common. They're all part of the rock cycle, a natural process that has been shaping Earth for billions of years. Rocks aren't just sitting around. They're constantly being created, changed, and even destroyed over time. There are three main types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, and each one is formed in a different way. Igneous rocks come from magma and lava. Deep inside the earth, rocks get so hot that they melt into magma. When magma cools and hardens, it forms igneous rocks. If the magma cools underground, it forms rocks with large crystals like granite. If it erupts from a volcano as lava and cools above ground, it forms rocks with small crystals, like basalt or pumice. Sedimentary rocks are formed from layers of tiny pieces of rock, sand, and shells. Over millions of years, these materials get squeezed together by pressure from the layers above. This is how rocks like sandstone, limestone, and shale are made. If you've ever seen a rock with fossils inside, it's probably a sedimentary rock because fossils get trapped in the layers as they form. Metamorphic rocks are created when heat and pressure change existing rocks. Imagine taking a lump of clay and squeezing it really hard in your hands. It changes shape without melting. The same thing happens to rocks deep inside the earth. When sedimentary or igneous rocks are pushed down into the earth, high heat and pressure transform them into metamorphic rocks. For example, limestone turns into marble, and shale turns into slate. These processes don't happen overnight. It takes millions of years for rocks to change. But they're always part of the rock cycle, moving from one type to another. Igneous rocks can break down into tiny pieces and form sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks can get buried deep underground and turn into metamorphic rocks. And metamorphic rocks can melt back into magma, starting the cycle all over again. The next time you see a rock, think about where it might have come from. Was it formed by fire, pressed together over time, or changed by heat and pressure? Every rock has a story to tell about Earth's amazing geological processes.